Hello, Internet. I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are back with some more Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. And today, we are moving on to Diddy Kong's Root through Classic Mode. Hey, little buddy is the name of his root. I'm not sure what that's actually going to entail. Um, are we fighting, like, all the small characters? I'm not sure. Um, oh, should I play as uh, the Dixie Colors? Or, um, I I I'm legitimately surprised Dixie Kong did not make it in this game. Um, no, I'm not, like... I wish I played more Donkey Kong games. I never really got into them. Um, so it doesn't really bother me which one we play as. So let's just give this a shot. Because I know this one. Um, and for the record... I'm pretty sure the internet considers Diddy Kong... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, at least in the last game. Oh, companions. Um, oh, I have, uh, Mario for help. So, what's Bowser doing? The, mo the internet considers Diddy Kong in the last game to be, like, top-tier amazing. I, however, will firmly show you I'm terrible as Diddy Kong. I will try my best, though. Whoa! Well, here, buddy, you have this one uh, very useful move called, uh, rape people in the face. Eh, eh. There, you saw that? Diddy Kong's over in B is rape people in the face. He's a lot faster, I can feel that. That should take out, uh, Bowser Jr. Thank you. Boosh! I kick him right in the back. Oh, alrighty. Where'd my hat go? <laughs> I'm throwing it up in the air. But, um, alright. That wasn't so bad. I mean, if I got a companion each time, it's gonna be really helpful. Diddy Kong. One thing I didn't appreciate back in Brawl when Diddy Kong, um, made it into Smash Brothers was, uh, Diddy Kong is the first character to make it into Super Smash Brothers who is not native to Japan. Ready, go. Uh, Diddy Kong is created by Rare, uh, which is a European company. Um, I believe Rare used to be out of, um... Oh, sweet, so I'm teaming up with Zero Suit to take on... Hey, little buddy? Oh, so I'm like the little buddy companion helping other people out. Okay. I like trying to figure out what this means. Um, but anyway. There we go, got rid of uh, Ridley. Give me this, yes. Fire breath, Yark. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming still. Just kidding, I'm coming over here now. Sis! Oh, wait, 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 oh, hold on. I was supposed to be fighting the other one. I got it totally mixed up which one I was going for. Never mind. Oh, I'm like throwing up on the ground. But one thing that... No, that's definitely still out of Japan. I was gonna say, was Zero Suit Samus technically in Metroid Prime first, but no, you you actually see her all the way back, even in the original game. I was gonna say, like, where should we really consider Zero Suit the first time we really fought her as her? And I would say that is, um, Zero Mission. She's basically from Zero Mission. Bye-bye! Oh, Zelda, you gotta go and screw everything up there. But anyway, um... Ow! Because I was gonna say, if it was Metroid Prime... Man, we got a dead different story here. Though, that was me, that was all me, I win. See, you went flying back. Yeah, I'm a ditty. But, um, if it was Metroid Prime, that's different. Uh, then it would be a, um, Retro Studios property, which she's not. Um, the outfit, though, is originally inspired from... Um, whoa, oh, oh, for some reason I thought I was Squirtle. We were playing too much Pokemon Trainer last time. Um, so, anyway, if that was the case, uh, Retro Studios is out of Texas, which, yes, makes Dark Samus, which is only in, um, Metroid Prime series, makes Dark Samus the first ever, um, character from America. Give me that, yes. Boosh, 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 got him! It just needed one shot, I knew that's all we needed. Diddy's not doing bad. Diddy's not doing that bad. I was going into this fully expecting it to just get my butt handed to me, but they're giving me a companion, which helps a lot. King DDD and Meta Knight. I Kirby's with me, I guess. Though this is kind of weird. Well, I guess they both are enemies at certain points in the um, Kirby series, but they're also like your friends. Everyone's your friend in Kirby. Oh God. Whoa, whoa. For some reason, I thought it was Kirby. I don't know why I did that. I was like, where'd that a banana come from? It's my it's my down B. Which like the internet says like you gotta use that down B, right? Whoa boosh! 
I hate Diddy's up and B. I can never get used to it. Get that pow block. Oh god, oh god. There we go. Okay, not so bad. Oh my gosh, she's not flying for anything. Okay, okay. I got, uh... Oh, both. How'd that happen? I don't know what happened. How did I actually do that? I gotta remember that I'm actually playing as Diddy Kong here. I'm really screwing myself over. My god. Having an ally because they have the red over their name? Like, I'm watching the character. I'm not watching that. And, like, I see the red. I'm like, okay. Red versus blue, right? Alright. More traditional. Like, this is actually... Whoa! Straight what happened in uh, K. Rule's um, reveal trailer. This is actually pretty sweet. Yark! There you go. That is a really awesome uh, item. I'm not sure which game it's supposed to be from. It's called a Beast Ball. I gotta look that one up. Genki Kang, why'd you grab that? Help me out here, you old stink. Look what you did. You screwed everything up. Alright, here. Mine. This is what you're gonna get. Whoop! Boosh! Give it a ditty. <laughs> Look at that. That's what you get, Danky Kang. You give me the items. That's what you get, Danky Kang. There we go. 9.5. I mean, I never really uh, was that great with Diddy. I mean, I guess as a lightweight, he's pretty good. I just never, never intentionally will choose this character to play as. Um, I haven't really been using his moves specials very much, but his regular B, the peanut pop gun, is actually pretty decent. I may start using it when we come to a boss battle. Um, may. His over B, his, uh, rape attack. I don't know what else to call it. It's a rape attack. Um, it's just annoying. Oh, come on. Oh, God, this isn't gonna make it. Not even close. Oh my god, did he freaking move? There's a way up there. Was I supposed to run up there? Is that how you come down here? That's the case you gotta choose one or the other. Oh my god, Diddy Kong, you're so bad at moving! He jumps too high for those little platforms. That's the problem. Complete. I am not very good at that character. I'm not used to his jump height. That's what's really irritating. Oh gosh. Both. Well, I got Donkey Kong with me. That's actually pretty good. Hey, little buddy. I like how it has the names each time. I just now noticed that. All right, Denki. Denki Spanky, we need to cooperate. Go for the same hand. Oh, God. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Yeah! No! Bonk. Thank you, Denki. Thank you. Denki Spanky. It's your new name. Denki Spanky. Bump, bump. Jump, why were you so stupid? Hershkabooski! Nice job there, bud! You did a thing! Oh god. Tanky Spanky, you must live! Tanky Spanky! Oh god! Tanky Spanky! Tanky Spanky! Oh god, move, move! No, 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 not all three! Oh my god, all three of them! I'm dead, Donkey Spanky! Tanky Spanky, I'm so dead! Oh god, no, no, I'm dead! I aerial dodged, but it doesn't matter. That thing's like... How do you describe it? The flinch after the first shockwave? It like vibrates you on screen and it you just stay flinched. Some of their moves in this game are annoying because you actually can't do anything about it at all if you're in a certain region. And that's extremely frustrating. Oh god! No! Hey, cool. I actually dodged that. I did a good thing. Danky. Oh, God. Danky Spanky. Oh, God. He got us both. Danky Spanky, no. Danky Spanky, no. Yeah. Kill it, Danky Spanky. Danky, stop being so stupid. There you go. Now kill his minion. Ow. Save me. Save me, Danky Spanky. What's wrong with you? Okay, so it actually kicks you out with... Oh, this is it. This is it. That was all me. That was all me. Here, let's eat bananas. Eat them bananas. Oh, wait, I don't have another bananas. <laughs> oh, he's actually got like a little punishment uh, animation afterward. Like, I don't know. After you ch tell him to drop another banana. But I already dropped one. I was curious what he would do. Because I know you can only drop one. Wow! Incredible! 
pushed it back to about where we were before. Not bad. Not bad. I see a good amount of Peach and Yoshi on that. That's actually pretty high up there. Diddy did well. Man, pretty impressed there, Diddy Kong. I should be able to get about everybody up that high, though. Makes me sad when I'm not able to. But regardless, hey, um, of all the characters I was probably looking forward to not playing as, Diddy Kong's one. I am um, not good as Diddy Kong. Well, I, I say that, but... Brandon, I'm going to attribute a lot of that success to sheer dumb luck, items, and the fact that I had a companion. That helped so much during these classic modes, having a companion. That's amazingly helpful. Some of the other ones, like having the opposite problem where the enemy has a companion, like the Ice Climber one, unfortunately is a really tough one. So, even though I really love playing as the Ice Climbers, yeah, problematic. Plus having a heavyweight companion, that's just nice. So, um, anyways, Diddy Kong, um, there were other moves I didn't really get to use. Like his up and B is all right. We also haven't really been discussing people's final smashes through this because we don't really see any of them. It would kind of make classic mode extremely easy if the smash ball could appear. Um, actually, I think it can, just very rarely. Because I think it's been used against me in classic mode before. I, I think I remember that now. Yeah, it's been used in classic mode against me, which sucks a lot. Um, oh, so you can ram into it yourself. Interesting. But anyway, yeah, um, Diddy's probably has the biggest buff of any Smash, Final Smash move in the game. Where he basically has a screen nuke. I don't know what else to call it. His original Final Smash used to kind of suck. He had to control it, where he basically went into his jetpacks and just shot like crazy out of his peanut bop gun, except um, it was explosive. So, I mean, that was good, but the problem was... Diddy was, like, was completely in your control, and it was really easy to get, like, get, kill yourself because you're flying in the wrong direction too much, or it's really hard to aim because you have to be flying away from whatever you wanted to shoot. It, it's just weird, you know? Um, so, I don't know. Now, he literally, you literally just push B and screen nuke. You'll watch the screen nuke. You don't know what has to be in your way, I don't think. You just push B, screen nuke, and win. Watch the funny. Some characters always had like crazy good ones like Palutena. Um, just like, it just happens. It's just a freaking screen nuke. But Diddy's may be the most ridiculous out of all of them. <laughs> oh, that's great. It's like the, um, it's a shot with Bayonetta. I think it's on the challenge screen with the Wii Fit trainers. That's hilarious. Go, Diddy! Oh, I'm prepared! Except he would be, like, enormous compared to them now. It's, it's crazy. He really should only stand up to, like, their thigh, but who cares? That's just funny. That's just funny. They, they were having fun when they made the photos for this game. Diddy Kong's fighter spirit is unlocked. Raphael Raven from Yoshi. Boom Boom from Mario Party Crap and all that other Mario stuff. Actually, uh, I think it was... He was originally in one Mario game, I thought. I forget what it was before he was brought back for some reason. I don't know why. I, I never really cared for the Boom Boom Pom Pom characters. All right, so that actually gets you an amazing amount of gold for winning like this. Diddy Kong, very impressive score. I'm happy with that. Because considering how I said going into this, I suck as this character. And hey, we didn't do that bad. All righty, there we go. Now, in terms of Brawl characters, moving on from here, we have one who is pretty impressive. The character who was actually supposed to replace Ness in Brawl, Lucas. Instead, um, we ended up getting them both. So we have some interesting differences between the two of them. So we're gonna see Lucas and all the different attacks that Lucas has in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next episode of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Boy.